So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can reverse a string in JavaScript. So we'll first of all look at a simple way of doing it, and then we'll look at a more complex way that you might be asked in interviews if you're challenged to not use built-in functions. So let's have a look at how to do this first with some built-in JavaScript functions. So let's create a new function called reverse string, and it will take one argument. I'm going to use an arrow function here, and it will just be the string that we need to reverse. And because we don't really need to do anything other than reverse the string, I'm just going to use an implicit return here. And although strings in JavaScript don't have a reverse function, what we do have in JavaScript is the ability to reverse an array. So it's simply a case of actually changing the string into an array of characters, which we can do with the split function and passing it in an empty string. And then we'll have access to the reverse function uh, which is available on arrays and that will actually reverse all of the characters uh, but they'll still be in an array so what we need to do is just join them back uh, to a string using an empty string again just to reconstruct the original string and if we save that you can see the output on the right hand side uh, is the reversed string of this uh, string variable here and of course it's preserved the white spaces in there as well uh, which is handy because obviously if you've got a, a, an actual piece of text uh, you'll want to keep that white space there. So as you can see, that's pretty straightforward, but you might be asked in an interview to uh, reverse a string or, or do another task without using built-in JavaScript functions, such as the reverse function. So how would we go about reversing this string uh, if we were asked to do that? Well, we'll need to do a little bit more work, but what we'll do is keep a running total of the new string uh, and we'll build it up by reversing through the actual string and adding each character in turn to our new string. So let's just create a new variable and we'll call it new string and we'll initialize that as an empty string. Then what we're going to do is say for each of the items in the array and we want to work backwards. So we'll use an index for our for loop here. So with the string, we'll just get its length property uh, minus one. So we can start at the end of the string and then we'll keep going whilst i is bigger than or equal to zero. And for each iteration, we're just going to subtract one from i each time. Okay, so for each item in the array, again, working backwards, we'll just first of all extract the character. And we don't need to do this, but just for clarity to see what we're doing here. Uh, so for the original string, we're just going to get the character that's available at position i. And then once we've got that character, all we need to do is in the new string, just assign it that character, which in turn, as the loop goes through, we'll just build up this new string variable here. And then at the end of the function, all we need to do is just return the new string. So as you can see in the output on the right hand side, exactly the same output uh, as the previous version. And obviously this is a lot more long winded, but hopefully it illustrates that you can achieve the same things as using built in functions in JavaScript. You just need a bit of thought as to how you construct the function or the algorithms that you're going to be using in order to achieve the task you've been assigned. So that's it. That's a couple of ways that you can reverse a string in JavaScript. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.